Happy Tuesday. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Sermosio. Whoa, what a change yesterday, right? Temperatures dropping into the low 90s thanks to all of that cloud cover and even a little bit of light rain that we had moved through the valley. Winds, too, were a big factor. The winds are going to ease up today, though, as temperatures begin to rebound. So we'll start to climb, but today's temperatures aren't going to get too warm. We'll still be right near normal with that high, topping out at 95 degrees in Phoenix. No hundreds still on the map with highs in the low to mid 90s in southern and in western Arizona and in northern Arizona. We're looking for highs in the 60s to 70s in most spots. Sedona and Kingman topping out in the low 80s. Winds low as well. Winds a big factor yesterday. We had gusts topping 40 miles an hour right here in the Phoenix metro area and even sustained winds that were upwards of 40 miles an hour. But today the winds will ease up. We're still going to get some breezes, but you can already tell the difference from yesterday afternoon. It's going to be breezy in many spots across the state. We'll get some light breezes here in the valley, but winds not getting overly strong. Winds will pick up a bit tomorrow, though, across northern and eastern and southern areas. Arizona, especially as we track another disturbance is passing by to our north. But overall, winds not getting as strong as what we dealt with yesterday across Arizona. So for today, plan on occasional gusts here in the valley near 20 miles an hour. For northern Arizona, gusts as high as 25 to 30 miles an hour. And for the most part, we'll continue to see these breezes through the end of the week. That should stay fairly light here in the Phoenix area before they pick up again by Friday and Saturday. So storm system number one that came by yesterday that brought those strong winds and that rain, that's clearing out. We've got another one to watch that'll pass well to our north on Wednesday. Wednesday, but temperatures will get a little bit warmer across our state as we stay dry because that storm again is going to stay well to our north. Then we've got another one on the back end of that that will actually come in on Saturday. That's going to get those stronger winds in here by Friday into Saturday. And then as it moves through, it's going to dip those temperatures down again, but it'll be brief because right behind it, it clears out and we've got high pressure building back in. And this is Monday Memorial Day and that ridge of high pressure is going to heat things up. But for now, those triple digit temperatures hold off until Memorial Day. Highs will reach the mid to upper 90s today, tomorrow and through the end of the week. We drop into the low 90s Saturday as that storm system moves in and then we're heating back up with a high of 100 by Memorial Day, uh, 101 rather by Memorial Day. So it will be hot. It will be dry. They'll look for sunny skies. Temperatures in the 70s in the morning, low 90s by lunchtime before that high of 101 on Memorial Day. That temperature today, 95 degrees, sunny skies, light breezes, 60s tonight and then getting a little warmer through the end of the week.